Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker reminding you to mind your decisions. A dog, a cat, and a mouse are at point A on triangle ABC. All three simultaneously run along triangle ABC, first covering AB, then BC, and finally CA. The dog moves at speed 12 on AB, 10 on BC, and 15 on CA. The cat moves at speed 15 on AB, 15 on BC, and 10 on CA. The mouse moves at speed 10 on AB, 20 on BC, and 12 on CA. If all three finish at A at the same time, what is the measure of angle ABC? I thank Zaki for suggesting this problem. Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So to solve this seemingly impossible problem, we need to think backwards. How can we find the measure of angle ABC? Recall that a triangle's angles are determined by the relative lengths of its sides. So let's solve for the ratio of the sides. We'll let AB be equal to 1, and let's solve for BC, which we'll denote as X, and CA, which we'll denote as Y. The dog moves at speed 12 on AB, 10 on BC, and 15 on CA. What's the total time it takes to run around the triangle? That time t will be equal to AB over 12 plus BC over 10 plus CA over 15. Now we've supposed that AB is equal to 1, BC is equal to x, and CA is equal to y. Let's write a similar equation for the cat. To do this, we have to remember that it takes the same time for them to move around the triangle, so we can use the same time value of t. So the equation for the cat is that t is equal to 1 over 15 plus x over 15 plus y over 10. We finally have a similar equation for the mouse. We substitute in its speeds along the different sides. We now have three equations that are all equal to t. To make this a little more manageable, let's multiply each equation by 60 to get rid of the denominators. We now have three equations that are all equal to 60t. Therefore, we can set these three equations equal to each other. Let's solve this system of equations. We'll first consider the first two equations. We can move the x terms to the left, the y terms to the right, and we end up that 1 plus 2x is equal to 2y. This simplifies to be 1 half plus x is equal to y. Now, let's look at the second and third equations. We again simplify this, and we get x plus y is equal to 2. We then substitute in that y is equal to 1 half plus x. We can then get a single equation in one variable x, which we can solve that x is equal to 3 fourths. We substitute that back and solve that y is equal to 5 over 4. So we've solved for the relative sizes if AB is equal to 1. But I still don't know the angle ABC. Let's scale all sides by a common ratio of 4. So AB will be equal to 4, BC will be equal to 3, and CA is equal to 5. We now have a familiar right triangle. This is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle, where AB is equal to 4, BC is equal to 3, and CA is equal to 5. Furthermore, angle ABC is a right angle. Therefore, its measure is 90 degrees. And like magic, we have solved for the angle measure. Incredible! Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.